Ranking these nine glasses wearing characters from weakest to strongest. Let's go. Starting off with my boy Conan. If this was the smartest list, he'd be at number one. Too bad it ain't. Later, nerd. I really like Leorio, which you can probably tell from my Hunter Hunter calendar. Broski's right there. But if we're being honest, he got carried. He is not passing that exam on his own. Kind of like Conan, smart dude, but not a strong one. I'm putting Nanami next. This is the first character that could be considered strong, but compared to the absolute monsters we'll see later on, he's not that powerful. One of the greatest Naruto characters, dude, Tita B. You already know he's strong because like four different characters had to jump this guy just so they can apprehend him. It was also funny how everybody at the time was glazing Sasuke for having a sword and this guy completely outskilled him at sword play. Not to mention he's got this big old thing, which makes him even more busted. A little debatable if Don Quixote is before or after Killer B, but I think he's a little bit stronger. I wouldn't say he's gonna win in close combat, but the fact that his strings technically can't be cut and if he combines that with his awakened devil fruit I think is enough proof to put him a little bit over killer B. Not above Rayleigh though. One Piece's take on the classic strong old geezer trope. The fact that he was a hockey master and in his prime was even said to be comparable to Roger on top of being able to hold off an admiral way past his prime puts him above Dofi for my money. Starting off the top three with Alucard. This guy has a bunch of different forms and different powers and he also uses limiters, which makes a lot of his powers very abstract and theoretical, especially the Schrodinger part. So honestly, he could actually be a number two, but everything is so abstract, you could make an argument for or against it. Regardless, he's totally busted and honestly, almost unkillable. And number two, Ishida. I already hear you saying, ain't no way. And I know a little bit of a toss up between him and Alucard, but by the end of the Thousand Year Blood War arc, Ishida is absolutely busted. I'm gonna leave it intentionally vague for the anime only because there's only two different parts of the Thousand Year Blood War arc until it finishes. And I don't wanna spoil anybody, but by the end of this arc, this guy is a monster. That said, number one is obviously Psyche, and no, I'm not joking. Much like Alucard, this guy also uses limiters, which are these antenna on his head. Well, technically only one of them's a limiter, but anyway, if he doesn't have them on, his psychic powers are so immense, he's not only able to mind control the entire population of the planet, but do other wacky stuff like time travel, dimension travel, space travel, just busting up planets like they're nothing, which I know is a little bit unfair, especially considering he's a gag character from a comedy anime. But hey, regardless of genre, Psyche can solo everybody on this list at the same time. Easily the strongest glasses wear. Let me know if you disagree on any of these.